Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning, getting ready for work, and I thought I'd just do this uh, coffee real quick so I can get it out to you guys by noon today. Uh, this is a great, great coffee for uh, hopefully a great day. I know things are kind of seem to, seeming like a groundhog day with what's going on in the world and work day after day after day. Um, but coffee always makes things so much better. So if you agree with me, leave a comment down below. But I do believe coffee uh, in the morning time and sometimes in the evening just make the day better. And so we're going to revisit a brand that we have tried before. Um, this is Hoffs, Hoff, Hossbrandt. Hossbrandt Cafe from Trieste. Uh, it's an Austrian Italian type of uh, company. It's an Austrian <clears throat> founder, but uh, Trieste, I believe, is still in Italy. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's been conquered yet. I don't know. But this is uh, a mocha pot type coffee. It, if you remember, we did the Rosa before. It's a red um, package. This is the Oro, so it's going to be a lighter taste, uh, more of a um, a blonde type of coffee. It is a um, hundred percent mixed blend, so I don't know what it is, but it's I don't know why I said hundred percent. It's Wednesday morning. I still have morning voice. It's a, it's a mixed blend of robusta and arabica beans. Uh, we haven't had a lot of Robusta on the channel. It's almost always Arabica. So I'm kind of excited to see what this blend is like. And it's rather inexpensive. You can buy it online. <clears throat> I've never seen it in the store here in the States. Uh, we picked this up in Europe. Uh, recently I was in England and I didn't see it there because uh, I was looking for it. <clears throat> but you can buy it online for about five bucks. Um, they have sales sometimes, so usually it runs a little bit more, like maybe seven or eight dollars uh, for this little 12 ounce package. Uh, but you can get it on sale for as low as four bucks um, every once in a while. So I would definitely check it out, especially if you have a mocha pot. This is not for a drip pot or a press pot. Uh, it's too fine of a grind. It's a dark roast, but a very, very fine grind. So definitely need a mocha or an espresso pot to <clears throat> make this. <clears throat> Woo. Yeah, I got that morning voice. I haven't even had any coffee yet. So this is fresh off the stove. Oh, look at that steam. Look at that color. It's a very, very hot, nice, dark, uh, rich, full-bodied look to it. Mmm. Okay, it's definitely got that European style aroma, a light uh, coffee uh, aroma to it. A light coffee aroma to it, but it's a little bit bitter on the nose. Some earthiness, chocolatey, um, almost a little bit of fruitiness to it. Not quite, but it's very light on the nose okay so it's definitely an espresso it's strong and bold um light on the flavor not so much bitterness and heaviness that you would find with um say the rosa <clears throat> but it's got it's got some heaviness to it So it's a nice, smooth, bold, but also very light flavored coffee. Definitely think I would rather have this with a, a little bit of sweetener, either some cream or a sugar cube. Mm. But this is really good. I wish I had some of the Rosa left and I don't, so I can do a comparison. Definitely a morning coffee though. Uh, wouldn't really want to have this at night. Gonna definitely keep you up unless you're a night worker. Um, but it is a little bit 
strong for American taste, if that is an exclamation, or a, huh, if, that, if that tells you what this is. This is a, a European style <clears throat> mocha coffee. I don't think you'd ever find anything like this at a Starbucks or something like that. Uh, but you would find this everywhere in, in Europe. Uh, so if you do want a good European style mocha, um, definitely look on I need a new drinking game. I say definitely a lot this episode. <clears throat> should have a bottle of whiskey and every time I say that you guys have to take a shot. No? Uh, you should seriously think about picking this up online, especially at the cost. It probably might be more in shipping for you than the actual cost of the coffee, but it is well worth it. Yes, uh, I think I'm going to definitely <laughs> I think I'm most certainly going to add some, I don't know why I picked that word up. I'm most certainly going to start adding a little bit of uh, creamer, maybe some Italian sweet cream creamer from the grocery store into it, uh, just to give it a little bit of a, a lighter, sweeter flavor to it. But I say this all the time with my coffees, is my new favorite coffee. And that's not always true, but this is definitely worthwhile coffee to get. When I say this is not always true about, it's not about this. It's about every time I say this is my new favorite coffee, because then the next one's my new favorite. Or I taste it more and I'm like, eh, it's probably not as good as I first thought. Because everything we try here is first open, first try. Uh, I've never had the Oro or the uh, this gold package blend before. Tell us what you think if you got it. Um, how do you like it? How do you compare it to others? If you don't have this and you're gonna get it, let us know when you do and what you thought of it. Remember to check out all of our other videos. Uh, every Monday is an oddity. It's a non-whiskey. It's, it's rum and vodka, tequila and liqueurs and uh, just really cool, interesting, wide variety of liquor. Uh, that is not whiskey or whiskey style. Tuesday, Thursday is whiskey or whiskey style, so it could be a flavored whiskey or uh, whiskey coffee or something like that. Uh, Wednesdays is left open for coffees. It's my favorite uh, day of the week, pretty much, because we get to have some really good new coffee that I haven't tried before. And then, of course, Friday is cocktail hour. We hope you join us for cocktails with Cody. It's a great time. Remember to hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And we'll see you tomorrow for whiskey. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.